Hello and welcome back to another one of Sean's Auto Repair videos. Uh, today in the shop we've got a 2004 um, VW Touareg 2.5 and it's in for some repair work, some MOT repair work. So let me give you the walk around and we'll show you what we've got to do. Alright, so let me give you a bit of a walk around. Um, one of the jobs we've got to do is a couple of bulbs for the headlight and as you can see I've already taken the headlight out to start on that. Um, we've walked around to the front. We've got front brake pads to do. Uh, that'll be a separate video I expect and we've got top suspension arms to do on both sides uh, because these ball joints that you can't see at the moment because there's weight on the car these ball joints are shot so these arms need replacing um, we go around to the back um, we've got to do handbrake shoes on both sides because it's got no handbrake at the moment um, as you can see I've already started I've done actually done this side so what we'll be filming today is the handbrake shoes on the other side um, I've just still got to put the caliper and that back on this one This is the one we'll be filming today. Uh, as you can see, I've already taken the wheel off. Um, so this will be to, for today's video. All right, so let's get started on this. So to get these these drums off, to get to the internal handbrake shoes, uh, first of all, we've got to take this clip off here, the spring clip off the caliper. Then we've got two little plastic covers, one on top and bottom of the caliper, with a seven mil bolt holding the caliper onto the caliper bracket. So we need to take them out. And then on the back of the caliper, um, I don't know where you can see down there, we've got some 21 mil bolts. We've got one 21 mil there, one 20 mil, 21 mil at the bottom to take the caliper bracket off. So let's get cracking. All right, so first of all, we just clip these metal clips off. They're just sprung on each side of the caliper. there stop the dog getting them yes you and then we've got two little plastic plugs in the back of the caliper oh we need two of these little things one top and one bottom and then we've got a 7mm Allen key in the back of the caliper So you have two of those. And once you've got your two pins out, you then put a bar in there just to pull the caliper over a bit to release that, push the piston back in a bit. Off, and then what we just need to do is just to free the wire from the back. So we can move the caliper with its pads. We won't need to take the pads out and just put it 
back to one side. Then on the back of the caliper bracket, you've got this bolt here, which is a 21 mil, and you've got a 21 mil down the bottom there. Take both of those out to get the caliper bracket off. So to do that, because we've got limited space, we're using a breaker bar, a small swivel extension, and a 21 mil socket. They are fairly tight. My air gun wouldn't undo the others on the other side. But this does the job. Top, we just loosen that one off as well. We don't pinch that one. Let's go and get a ratchet and we can carry on. That's the second one, and the caliper bracket just slides off. Put that somewhere safe so the dog don't get it. Right, so that's all the uh, foot brake side of it off the caliper with the pads and the bracket. To get to the handbrake shoes, we need to take the, the drum and the disc unit off. Uh, so, first of all, we've got a spline, a spline bolt to get out of here, and that's what holds the, the disc or the drum to the hub. Right, so what we need to get that off is a uh, M10 spline, which fits in there. So what we do is we just put that in place, and so it doesn't strip out. You've got to make sure it gets a good bite. So we'll The old impact driver on there. That's the little 10 mil spline bit. So we'll put them somewhere safe as well. And before I take the drum off, let me just show you what I found in the other side when I've done the other side. Now these are the two shoes that I took out the other side. See one shoe had half of the lining missing. 
and the other shoe had no lining at all apart from a little bit on the end so when I put that back together um, we've got a, a new fitting kit which we're going to use for this side and these are the old old springs that, that came out and the old securing springs and these are the new shoes so let's go back and see what we've got on this side Let's get a bit of a clock with a hammer. Well, I had to pause it there because it took a bit of a beating to get off. But uh, there we go. You can see in there what I'll show you in a moment. So you can see on this one that it's the same. This top one's got no lining on it whatsoever and the bottom one that's the same it's got no lining and the drum you can see it hasn't been used for some time so that needs to be cleaned up before we put it back together <coughs> so now what we need to do is to get these shoes off so to get the shoes off you've got uh, an adjuster here which needs to come off so you've got to release that spring and then you've got a spring on this side and it unhooks from this actuating lever so let's get that done all right so first of all we're going to lever the brake shoe up and we're going to get this adjuster out uh, no we're not first thing we're going to do just hold it there a second first thing we're going to do is to take these retaining pins out these just push in turn 90 degrees pop out and they are just little pins with little legs on the bottom we'll do the same for the bottom one push in to 90 degrees and then pop it out so we've got new ones of these so then what we're going to do is we're going to leave the shoe up Take that spring adjuster out, or the, the adjuster out. We'll clean that up before we put it on. That was facing downwards, and then that spring comes out with it. And then on the other side, you've got another spring. The best way to do that is just to. Lever, lever the shoe off the adjuster. It was so much easier on the other side when you're not filming. So we've got the two shoes off. And this is the actuator. See when it opens up, this little claw here is what holds it holds onto the cable. I'll show you that in a moment. There is the cable that comes through from the other side of the hub. As you can see it in the sun there. And all that does on this uh, actuator is that hooks on the cable. I can do this one-handed. Can you see? I can't even see where it's now. That's it. And then it just closes around it like that. And when it's closed, it holds the cable in place. 
and that holds it and the adjuster just sits there. So this mechanism sits in the hub between the shoes. The cable sits in here and it gets trapped in between the, the casing. So when you pull the cable, you've got your lower shoe in here and as you pull the cable, it pivots, pushes this one down and as a result pushes that one up. So you get a little bit of up and down movement to spread the shoes. Alright, so that's just another quick way of showing you what's what. You've got your lower shoe with your pin that goes through there to hold it down. You've got your adjuster on this side. You've got your handbrake mechanism on this side. And you've got two springs. You've got one spring each side which holds them all together. And that's your top pin. It goes through there. So that's all they are. They're just a little slot, a little T slot. So it goes in, turns 90 degrees, and locks them in. Same on the bottom. Right, let's get a wire brush. Can give it a good clean out. Right, now we've got a good wire brushing out, nice and clean. Let's we'll give it a dose of the old brake cleaner. And then we'll be ready for reassembly. Right, so I've cleaned a few bits up, cleaned the uh, handbrake mechanism up, just going to put a bit of grease in there, and I've cleaned up the uh, adjuster, all its various parts, that's all nice and clean, I'm ready to go back in again, so we'll uh, grease them up and get started. Alright, so we've lightly greased all the contact points. That's where, where the handbrake shoes sit on these little arms here. I've greased the mechanism which I've put back in there ready. And then you've got three touch points on each shoe. Three at the bottom and three at the top. So now we're ready to put our shoes back. Now the shoes go in like this. Now there's a few different ways of putting these springs on. And they're all a bit of a nightmare because they're all really tight. Um, so I'll show you how, well I'll see if I can show you how I do it. I put the adjuster and the spring on this side first and then I pull the shoes down next to this mechanism, put the spring on and then lever it back over the top. So let's see how that goes. So we'll hook those in there, hook that on there, and then we'll hook that on our shoe. So we've got the spring and the adjuster on the near side. We've got the bottom shoe hooked into the handbrake mechanism on that side. Now, we just need to get this spring on here. So now the spring's on.
it. That's in its seat. We just need to get that one down to that mounting plate. Like so. So you can see the adjuster is in its smallest position, fully retarded, and that is in between those two shoes there. The handbrake mechanism is here, attached to the cable, and is located on the bottom shoe one side, and top shoe in there. So now all we need to do is to put these hold down pins in one on the top and one on the bottom and that's all they are that's a nice new pin these ones got allen key heads instead of phillips which makes it a lot easier for locating because you put the allen key in and if you hold if you line the handle up with the two teeth on the end so you know when you put it in you push it in turn it 90 degrees and then it should lock itself so let's give that a go on camera. So you yeah, you push it in, turn it, and that's not in. I need to put it in the tripod for a moment. should have been. Right, back out of the way. I do the same to the bottom. I think I'll have to move you a sec. Right, let's see if we can do this one. So now you can see we've got the top pin in there holding the shoe securely. We've got the adjuster in there, we've got the mechanism there, and then we've got the bottom pin in the bottom shoe. Now what we need to do is to clean the shoes up to get all this grease and that off them and do our best to clean that drum up. Alright, so the shoes will all been nicely cleaned up again with a bit of uh, rough grip paper. And I've been round the drum and I've cleaned all the uh, inside surfaces off. So now let's see if we can, first of all, we'll have to wind this adjuster out a bit because it'll probably need to be about halfway before we put the drum back on. So we'll do that and we'll put the drum on. Alright, so we just hold the spring out the way of the adjuster and we'll uh, give it a few turns to get it on its way. So I'll give it a few turns and make sure the uh, shoes are central on the carrier. Let's clip the drum on and see if it goes on. Oh, let's just clean up these places first where it's a bit stuck around now. 
Right, so I've cleaned all the hub up, I've cleaned around the disc up, just put a bit of grease on there just to help things along. Let's see if we can slip this drum on. Right, so as you can see, the drum goes on nice and easy. So uh, we'll find the uh, adjuster out a bit more. Hold the spring out from the adjuster. Just makes it easier to turn. You can just flick it across the spring if you want to. Still nice and easy. Let's get a few more. So you normally have to wind this out about halfway normally. Central. Let's go and apply the handbrake a few times. So that's with the handbrake on. Look solid. Line the holes up in the hub. Like so. So off camera I've cleaned everything up. Um took the pads out and I'll clean the caliper up. <coughs> clean the ears of the, the pads up so they go in there nicely. Clean the, the uh, caliper bracket. Clean all the crusted off of those. And uh, all the securing bolts. Caliper bracket bolts. And uh, caliper slide bolts, all nice and clean. And the little bolt that holds the disc on. So that's just a case of refitting everything. So let's put you back in the tripod. First of all, we're going to fit the caliper bracket, and we're going to put some Loctite on these bolts. will need to be done up to the correct torque.
Soalnya Agak lagi So, I've got a bit of, bit of grease on the slides there, where the pads sit, a bit of copper grease. I'll just put a bit of grease on these and the, uh, these are the pads. back onto the bracket <laughs> clip the wire in that we took off the back like so I'm going to put a bit of red, red rubber grease on the sliders Plastic clips back in, little covers. They just pop into the end just to stop dirt and crap getting in there. Same on the other side. Make sure your wires are all okay. Your speed sensor is uh, pulled out of there, so we'll put that back. Alright, I forgot to put the uh, Securing bolt in for the disc. Doesn't really do anything, just holds the disc in place. Clip. 
Piston out on the brakes. Can't pump it too far. We've got caliper off the other side, haven't we? Okay. And that's it. Put the wheel back on. Alright, so with the caliper back on, handbrake shoes adjusted, the hub's now cleaned up. Um, I've cleaned up all the uh, all the wheel bolts as well um, to go back on. So, uh, so once I get the caliper put back on the other side, uh, which is the same as the one I just showed you, uh, that'll be the handbrake shoes uh, sorted out. Um, I've got to go and pick up the top suspension arms from the local parts factor in a moment So that would be hopefully the second video um, And then I might do a separate video again on the front brake pads and maybe one on the On the headlight which is down there um, Removal and refitting because there's a procedure for that um, Yeah, so thanks for watching guys and I uh, hope that helps somebody and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.